Hello, welcome to the stream. Um, hoping this works. I'm trying a new thing. It's going to be real loud in my ear, probably. Um, I'm going to be playing a game near and dear to my heart called Chrono Cross. Spiritual sequel to Chrono Trigger, kind of. Um, beautiful game. Really like it. Um, and I'm going to be quiet for this intro because I, I like it a lot. So, um, enjoy this for the next minute or two. Oh, man. My leg hit the controller. Well, we'll have to fiddle with that later, I guess. Alright, new game. Um, I'm not sure how well this will work with my 8-bit dose, so I'll go with off. Uh, Surge? Change name. Um... This is gonna be me. Ah. Let's see, will that work? Let's see if that works. It might be Sa. So this game came out in '99. It was kind of one of the one of the last PS1 games. And it looks like it. This is about as good as a PS1 game can probably look, barring like Final Fantasy IX. Heck yeah! Hello, Echo. Um, I do want to preface this this game is weird as hell. Oh, who did I get? At the beginning, you know, did I get Mickey? I think that's who that is, is Mickey. Oh good, it's my name. What is it? You look troubled. I don't know if she has an accent. This game also has accents galore. So many characters have accents, but since it's not voiced, you only get uh, the text of it, which, man, if this game does get a remaster and it becomes voiced, dear God, they're going to have to bring in they're going to have to bring in like a hundred voice actors because there's so many characters. This is it. There's no turning back now. <laughs> Oi! Oh, my God. I can't, I can't do... I can't do the accents initially because it's it makes me laugh so much because they're written so funny. Oi! Come on, Sam. Mickey. Just two wait links. Today's going to be the day of reckoning. Say your prayers, not that it'll do you any good. <laughs> Damn! Yes, silent protagonist me. Echo, you're in here. How's the game look? Look okay? Customize. Fault run. It's a crystal like thing. Some kind of switch. Baga! So close and yet so far. Looks pretty good. Okay, cool. I also wish you could stay longer for this, but it is what it is, as they say. The actual game a bit quieter. All right, I can do that. Shoot. That should be a little quieter. This game, this game's pretty loud. The music's really good though, so I mean it works out. Um, yep, can't get up there yet. Um, yeah, I guess this is as good a time as any to explain the combat system. Do, 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 do.
So, that's a good volume. Okay, cool, thank you. So the way the combat in this works is you've got your attack, your defend, and your runaway. Uh, your runaway works 100% of the time without fail immediately against any fight. It doesn't matter, you can run away from the final boss. Uh, your attack, say, all right, go to attack, and I wanna pick one of these guys. These are robots, but they have a, an assigned sex. Okay, whatever. Um, does that make this a couple? That's sad, what I'm doing. Um, so, you've got your weak attack, your medium attack, and your strong attack, and they have percentages to hit. Um, <coughs> excuse me. As you hit, your percentage goes up. So you kind of want to start off with your weak attacks and build up to your big attacks. Oh, see? I missed. He takes his turn. Then you've got elements. So each one of these attacks is ship robot Cybot A and Cybot B. So each of the attacks, like this 95% weak attack, takes one stamina. And as you can see, under my health total, it's got stamina. I've got five left. That takes one. This takes two. This takes three. Elements take seven. Your elements are your spells. So, let's see. I want to hit this guy with fireball. I now am in the negatives for my stamina. Which means, kid there cannot use an attack until she gets into the positive stamina. I've never actually had Mickey on my team. Uh, there's 110 characters in this game, and you cannot get all of them in the first playthrough. You have to play through three times <laughs> to get all of them, and Mickey is one of the characters that requires a playthrough that I've never done. Does she have anything special? Head Bopper. A dance is bound to make heads turn. What's this? Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop. All that for 28. But now look, Mickey is out 6 stamina. Like, she will not be attacking for probably a, a turn and a half. Me, on the other hand, since I didn't use any spells, every time it rotates, like everyone does an attack, you immediately get back to full stamina. Or you get 7. So, Mickey is out until... Like, the next time she attacks, she'll only have one stamina. Let's do the old dash and slash. Phew. Max healing using non... You can... At the end of every ma battle you can heal to full using consumables or not using consumables. I typically do without using it, and it uses whatever spells you have available at the end of the battle to heal you up. Um, there's no magic points, um, there's nothing like that, but each element you can only use uh, once per battle. It seems like a really complex system, and it kind of has some intricacies to it that make it a little complicated, but it's not as bad as it's not as daunting as it seems at first. There's a whole tutorial section later uh, with an old man who just beats the shit out of you. So, uh, yeah, well, you do you have to do it. So we'll end up doing that later. Uh, there's also no grinding in this game. You you cannot grind. because um, you don't gain experience after I mean you kind of can grind but you don't gain experience after battles um, after big fights bosses and and strong really strong enemies like sub bosses you gain a star <coughs> and a star gives you a higher potential growth so after battles you get like one strength or two strength something like that um, but you can only get so high until you get another star. Oi! What the bloody hell just happened? 
What are we doing out here? I, I know that kid is Australian. I cannot do an Australian accent to save mine or anyone's life. And I'm very sorry to all the people in Australia for what I'm going to do uh, with kid's accent uh, in that she is going to become British uh, without me trying. Wow, bugger. We're so high up. Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? Good observation, Mickey. This sure is some fort. Hey, Sam? Mmm? You alright, mate? Been acting all weird. Who knows what's up ahead, so stay on your toes, eh? Eh? And she's Canadian. Don't care for that one bit. Me. Good morning, me. Lini's bell sounds great. That's the wrong game. Like I said, though, this game, incredible music. Absolutely fantastic. It's me. I'm awake. I did it. Secret savings of 200G. Do you like to rest? No, I'm good. Making me so nostalgic. It's so bright in here. Think not. Major. Marge. Whose mom is named Marge? That's silly. Good morning, Tam. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. Wow, he slept in. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? And he came by to see if you were up, but you, young man, were still off in Never Never Land. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. True that. Caddo. Meow. That looks like a little cranberry. Simpson. That's quite a face. All right. No answer. It's just a barrel. Disagree. Gather away, little baby Heckgran. Um, Heckgran bone. Okay, I found the Heckgran. This isn't a Heckgran. This is a. What are they called? I think they're actually called dingoes. But yeah, Hecran's in the so Hecran and Chrono Trigger is like this mythical, legendary monster that can only be defeated by magic, and it's like a boss in that game. This in this game, it has become a delicacy. Why, hello? Do you want to hear the truth about the world? The real truth about the world? Insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls to the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. Well, how do you like it? Were you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I want to cross the continent and make a name for myself with just a pencil and paper. Look at me. I'm in this puny village in the middle of nowhere, waitressing in this run-down shack. 
What just say about my restaurant? You can quit any time, you know. Yikes. Just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just saying how good the work environment is. Hmm. So, this guy's a demi-human because he says cha. And that's all. That's, that's all I know. You get a guy later, he says cha a lot. I don't use him on my team. Orc. Alright, all I wanted really was that heck rainbow. These characters all just kind of jib jabber about nothing. And here we come to the best character in the game. Poshal. Poshal. Poshal, I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh, hi, Sammy Poo. Me, yeah, I'm a bit busy right now. Have you already met up with Lena? Me thinks she was by the pier. Poshal. Poshal. I have a bone. Ah! Is that a heck grand bone? A present? For four I? How'd you know? To accept or not to accept? Ahem. Me accept your present and me shall help you. Me will do anything you want. Me will be your honored. Will be honored to be by your side. Me will use my pretty miracle power X. You will do it, Sammy Pooh. Thanks, Poshal. He joined my party. Uh, what, sh what should Poshal's name be? Uh, who's a dumb dog? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Like a kind of dog, dog that's also kind of cute, but also kind of smart. I could name him after my dog, but I think since like I'm real, I'm like almost never gonna use Poshal. I think I'm gonna stick with the the default names for everyone except for Surge course I named him me because you know <coughs> I'm narcissistic and I have to self insert conform this makes the game a lot easier um, because <laughs> car is a dumb dog my dog is so dumb and smart and cute hello my name's Toma the 14th but people usually put the great explorer in front of my name great explorer Toma I was just looking around for treasure I have six cents you know yeah, I wasn't gardening. I was really looking for treasure. Time sure does fly. Chief Radius has been living here for four years already. Such a bright, cheerful man. Everyone in the village really likes him. She could stay here forever. He'll be here forever. Uh, no, none of these people like saying that's a safe point. That's the village chief. He's the tutorial boss. I don't want to do him. Yeah, imagine I didn't want to name him Tokyo. Go figure. Um. Oh, I gotta go in here. And talk to this dude in his weird basement. Yeah, your basement stinks, dude. Don't say. Ooh, ah, hi. I was lost my thoughts there. You know how Kiki's growing up so quickly? Sometimes it's amazed at how much she resembles her mother. Yeah, I guess my wife is like that, too. She's been very much like her mother since long as I can remember. I guess that demonstrates how life continues to live on through generations. It's been about ten years since I became a fisherman. Back then, I still had other aspirations, but I ended up succeeding my dad. I guess you can say everything here represents 10 years of my life. That is a running theme in this game. 10 years. Lion shark, sawfish, six horned narwhals, you name it. They represent all my hard work and dedication. 
I love my job and I'm happy with my current lifestyle and all, but lately I get to thinking when I see Kiki about how I could have had a different future if I had chosen a different path 10 years ago. Then I'd be living a completely different life than I am now. I'm not saying which one would have been better, but I just wonder where the other path may have led me. I guess the longer you live, the more you wonder about other, another you that might have been. Boy, life sure is complex. You said it, dude. Oh, you want this? Here, take it. It's an amulet. I made it from a lion shark tooth ten years ago when I decided to become a fisherman. I don't need it anymore. I have my wife and Kiki watching over me. Thanks for this family heirloom, dude. That's all I wanted. <clears throat> Kiki and her Komodo dragon. Let's see, does this person with this giant ass fish have anything to say? Yo, what do you think of sawfish? You're seen on this size? It's gotta be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree? You're probably right. I knew it. I just knew it. If really it's true, then from here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. Business will pick up, money will start pouring in, I'll be able to repair my roof, varnish my boat, buy a new sail, eat as much squid gut pasta as I want up in Termina. Life is good. Who am I kidding? That would definitely be too good to be true. I'm just gonna die alone in this fishing village. But thanks anyways. Here's a little something for you. Give it to a girl you like. Moto scale! Hell yeah. Wish the legend was true though. There are enough dreams out there lately. Alright. Um No. Furry girl. What do you want? Una. Yo, Sammy! I heard you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in you. It was real gutsy of you. I guess that shows her who's boss, eh? Don't tell her I said so. My sister's a bit uptight, you know. Would you like break her and, <laughs> you know, make her act a little more ladylike? Una, what year are we living in? Yeah, my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Doop, doop, doo. Free element. Photon Ray. Good night. I'll be playing again tomorrow, don't worry. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to watch it though. Okay, I just got that Photon Ray. So, element allocate to me. give him one. Um, let's, let's do status on me first. Silent protagonist, 17, 5, 7, 128. Ordinary build, right-handed. What an average guy. Postal the Wonder Dog. Oh, Postal the She. I know that. Uh, Arnie. Okay, right on. I hope Kip can join. Uh, 3'8", 26 pounds, roly-poly, dominant paw unknown. Alright, we've, we've let, you know, wait long enough, so. I used to try so hard to catch that kid to see what he had to say. This guy's drunk. Hello, Lena. You're late, Sam, sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon scales for my necklace, remember? Since you were late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo! Look at me! Come on, you guys should join us. Feels real good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far now. Okay, gotcha. Kids, I tell ya. They sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care or worry on our minds. You are both 17 years old. There is still not many cares on your mind. How you stay last in eternity filled with newness, fun, and excitement. But the important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. We have to face up to reality and live each day anew. 
so I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault you were late. Once you collect some Komodo Dragon scales, I'll catch up with you on Opossa Beach. Is that okay with you? You got it. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, then don't just stand around. Go collect some scales at Lizard Rock. I think three should be enough. Now, I've got one already. Because that dude gave me one because I thought his fish looked cool. I always thought that was a furry girl. She's carrying a bag. Man, I'm the fool. Hey, you got a free element? Brings you to this quiet seaside village. It's, I live here. Don't go to the Hydra Marshes. There's dwarves. Okay, old man. He ain't wrong. There's dwarves. And then, like, so... Everywhere you go is like, oh, what's here? Oh, it's the Hydra Marshes. What's here? Probably can't do very much. Yeah. It isn't me. Didn't the elder villagers not to come near here? Yeah. So, there's all these places you can go, and they always have a title like that. But, spooky do, you can go to the the waterfall here. It's a secret. It's a spooky secret. This is like part of getting the good ending. But, yeah, big spooky waterfall that you have no idea what it's for until you're like 40 hours into the game and you're just like, what is going on? And then some, if I remember right, some NPC is like, go to a waterfall. And it's like, what, where? Okay. There's Arnie Village, Cape Hall. I wonder if there's any treasure chests here. It might just be beach bums. Oh, there is a treasure chest. Treasure. Found heal. I don't want to fight you. Ah. Oh. Bone. Uh, that was like something you could fight, but I think it's birds. <laughs> What's this say? Sam and Lena forever. Aren't we adorable? You know, teenage love, that's the love that really lasts. So did I take any damage from that hot spring? I took five. That's stupid. And it took a minute to knock me back. I feel ripped off. Go away, beach bomb. I'm not fighting you. Boom. Boom, boom. Alright, lizard rock. Gargantuan strength. Wow. Push this rock. Aha, uh -huh. trapped you. Kill this baby. Oh my gosh, that's so many misses. I have to change something in the options. Yeah, sometimes it, it misses your turn up like that. Turn up. 
and uh, you end up like having to start over with your percentages. Bonk. I did it. Yeah, see, I got two hit points. And like I said, I'll get stat increases until I hit the level that the star that I'm at allows. Max healing without consumables. Got a Komodo sta scale. Alright, um, customize, window position, accuracy selection, manual. There we go, I think that's it. Gotta fight this guy. Oh! So I can get to that chest. <laughs> I miss so much. Bonk. Oh my gosh. Those guys are called like a squirt or something. Ah. Oh. Sucks. I have no offensive abilities. There we go. Sand squirt. Oh, it's my own fault. I'm I'm picking the the low chance to hit stuff. But man, is it not working out in my favor? Bonk. Um. Yeah. I did it. I beat these nothing enemies and it took too long. What did I get? Fireball. Okay. Um, late, by the end of the game, you have so many elements you're just like I don't know what to do with any of these I don't want to fight that guy I don't want to fight him either I, I didn't want to fight this guy <laughs> This guy. See how this works. Oh yeah, there's also innate colors. So everything in the game has an innate color. Like, does it say on potions? No. But potions are yellow. And these guys are blue, as you can see. So, and everything is strong and weak to its opposite. So, these guys are blue, they are weak to red innate things. Um, do this. Um, since Postal is yellow, he is, uh, he takes extra damage from green things and does more damage to green things. Uh, Surge here is white because he's the hero, and so he takes more damage from black and eight characters and does more damage to black and eight characters. Um, there's also the field effect at the top left, which amplifies those colors. It's a lot. I'm not gonna say it isn't. It's a lot. <clears throat> Mm 
And the only reason I had to do that was to do this. Oh my gosh. I wish there was an analog stick. I don't know if it has analog support, but maybe. So that'll bring this treasure chest up, and I can get, I think there's a silver loop in here. And silver loop increases your accuracy. Oh my god, this is the slowest floating thing in the history of things that float. Silver loop. Yep. So, equipment, me, absolutely. Yeah, it increases my percentage to hit. Only by a couple, but a couple ends up. Beach bum. There should be a Komodo dragon here that I have to run around and catch. Oh, you're a quick one. Did it. <clears throat> oh. Got him. Peck. <coughs> Bonk. Okay, now, Komodo scale. So, the scale the dude gave me, it's actually not the same kind of scale, I don't think. Uh, let's see, how do I get that treasure chest again? Here, jump in this hole. Here, get this one. Bone. That guy just came out of nothing. Ooh, every helmet. Equipment. I gotta fight him just cuz. <clears throat> Dumb. Poke. Yeah. Miss. Oh, that's a hit. Eat photon ray on this dude. Get him, Potion. Zap. Got him. Sand squirt. Right. Now how do I get chest that's down there, though. Ah, right here. Tablet. That sucks. Tablet's a
consumable healing item that does like 30 health. I guess it's good for right now, but um, later in the game it's like pretty useless. All right. Let's see where this puts me, in front of or behind? Oh, yeah! Okay, so I have to get one more Komodo scale. Which, it's always this one. It's always the same one. And I'm terrible at getting it. Ah! <laughs> oh. Fireball plus two against this little sand squirt. Forty damage is a lot. Way to miss. A hit there is good. Element photon ray against this dude. Zap. Slap. How do you miss so much? <coughs> All right, jump up. Yeah, I got right past him. Oh man, first try. Good for me. Definitely got to kind of save my elements. Bep. Mama Komodo. Bigum. She's not happy that I killed her baby. Plural. Babies. Missed like a 94% chance. Fireball 2. Forty's a lot. What you got, Photon Ray? <clears throat> Zap. Bonk. I don't think I have any other elements that'll uh, deal damage. Got her. Oh, nope. Aqua Beam. That did a good chunk. Come on, Poshal. Is that it? Yeah, I did it. She died just like her children. Like a bitch. And I got a star. Reached a new growth level. That means that my stats can go up higher than they could before. And you get a big boost afterwards. And you can see, see in, I uh, just about almost pointed at my screen. Um, you can see the little flashing thing above where it says magic on both characters. That means that I've got new element slots.
Poshu shoo! We now have three Komodo scales. Poshu shish! Rest get moving to Opatha, Opatha, Opatha Beach, and wait for Lena. <clears throat> Can I even go up this way? Oh, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. And now I can actually just run back and forth here. I don't have to go through there. But we're going to Opasa Beach. Opatha. <clears throat> There you are. She mad. Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long. Postal? I didn't expect to see you here. This is where you went off to. Way to be. Weird fifth wheel there, Postal. Wee! Lena's here. How are you doing? Are you two on a date? So you think me should weave you to a roan? Oh, please. Don't be silly. <clears throat> Postal, sheesh. <laughs> well, how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo Dragon Scales? You know I did. Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you. And you too, Poshul. Ahem, no problem. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come all the time. <clears throat> See, never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for an eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime, without a single change. Hey. Remember we used to sit and talk like this when we were kids? You are both still children. With the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of waves. Just the two of us talking. You still remember that day? Of course, Lena. <clears throat> really? You do? So you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day? It makes me happy. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think you've forgotten some about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there and wait, waiting for that right moment. Why, we might even remember this very moment someday. 10, 20 years when we're all grown up and married, have kids of our own. And one day, when that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what to make of this day. We will never forget this day. Yeah, I hope you're right. It's been something I've been wanting to... Who said my name? What? What's wrong? Hearing things. Pretty big wave. <laughs> T 
Jesus, he's dead. What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. Alright boy, what else are you doing lying down anyway? For a second there I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village, babysitting. I'd best be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. <clears throat> looks like the village elder. Who should recognize me. Oh, good as possible. Sammy Poo, you're finally up. That's... Oh. Fell into Ed Wynn there for a second. Something went whoosh! And me without cold, too. You woke up at first, though me went to go work around. But no sign of Lena anywhere. You think Lena Fontanera 3 combusted? You wonder if she's okay. Okay. can't go through here. Music's a little different. What up? What are these? Danger, Opas Beach, keep out. Feather. Shoot. Nothing over here this time. The hay. Oh man, I didn't want to fight these fish. I think it's like flying fish, some dumb name. Sand squirt. Sand squirt. Opa fish, opa. Oh, big crit. Element fireball on this thing. Oh, it's red. Nope, this one. Get him, Postal. <laughs> Photon ray. circle around eventually anyway, so it doesn't matter. No big rock, just lots of fish. Komodo dragon, guardian treasure chest. I'll come back to him. Ugh, can't get around him. Oh no. Oh, another big crit. You love to see it. <laughs> same as last time. So, this is the same before. Um, eventually, you get 
a million characters. Um, some of them really good. Some are really good, interesting characters that have like cool backstories and like lore. And some of them are turnip. And it just is what it is. They can't all be be winners. All right, you. I want what's in that treasure chest. Oh my god. Just decapitated. So the Komodo pups are innate blue, but the Mama Komodo is innate red. It's a little weird. Big damage. <laughs> Ivory helmet. Can I wear two of those? Social gets one. Now he's a dog wearing a helmet. That's cute. So again, now that I've gone through, I can do this. Okay, pal, can I come here yet? That'd be something worth seeing. Electro Jolt. Um, it is yellow, and so is Potial, so we're going to put that right there. No. You're not actually supposed to come here just yet, but it's okay. Um, no. Now that I think about it, I'm not going to come here yet. Because I will not get to see the thing that I want to see without progressing the story. And I would rather do this. Oh, now you're an Arnie. What brings you here to this quiet seaside village? There's much excitement here, but please stay. A while. Please relax and stay a while. Stay a while and listen. Hello. Would you like to take a look? Um, yeah. Let's see what you got for elements. Like. You can always, like, there's so many places to buy elements. I cannot remember the last time I bought an element while playing this game. Where's your giant fish? I just haven't been able to hit a big one lately, you know? I'm not really concerned about the money or profit. I just have the, this urge for a challenge. Come on, baby, I know you're out there. Need some excitement. Give me a big catch. Um, what about my house? Oh, God controls are not amazing, but it's fine. Poshu? Yeah, oh, what's different? Shoo, shammy poo. Mama Sammy poo, did you redecorate? It looketh a little depressing. What happened to my room? Looks like this room is redecorated too. Kind of looks like a junk room and it is so dusty in here. Let's put some light in. What are you doing here, man? It's my island. I'll let you rest here for a little while, man. Now I'm good. Man. What am I taking? Magma bomb. Elements allocate that. Magma bomb is kind of cool because it hits all enemies. Um, I'm gonna give it to Postal because he needs. Whoa, is that Link from Breath of the Wild? What are you doing in my house? House is a playground for you kids, alright? Go play outside. Sorry, bro. 
Where are you, mister? This is Sammy Pooh's house, isn't it? Where is Mama Sammy Pooh? Who? Marge? Who the heck's that? Been in this house for five years now. Name is a ring bell. Five years? Is that true, mister? This is really weird. Whatever with all your gibberish, man. Just get out of here. Okay. I'm just a little confused, bud. Let's go in here. Lena's out there. What's in there? Photon Ray, another one. Some things never change. place it's so different cafe fleur hi there I haven't seen you around before are you from Termina what's going over there but everyone's really excited about the Viper Festival my poems what are you talking about I gave up on them ages ago just a stupid dream I was obsessed with never did have any talent don't say that how do you know about that nobody knows about my poetry it really doesn't matter anymore whether I'm writing poems or not no dude would give a hoot about someone writing poems in a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere, huh? Just remember, dreams do come true. Hmm. Do you honestly believe that? We live in the middle of nowhere in this tiny village leading small lives. Nothing's ever going to change, no matter how hard you try. That's just the reality of it all. <sighs> Shadow. Nothing under the bed this time. Cato. No answer. It's just a pot. Okay. Ten years ago, my husband's friend lost a son. The boy drowned at sea at the tender age of seven. Soon after, the boy's parents passed away, too. Such a sad turn of events. That's when my husband changed. Never did I imagine he would end up like this. His way of life has changed completely. Daddy always spends his time downstairs. He won't play with me. And he gets real mad if I go down there, too. He didn't used to be like that. Everybody doesn't like me. That's the saddest thing in the world. Geeky. It's okay. What the fuck? I always forget how wild this looks. No answer. Seems to be just a straw doll. Hey, buddy. Hello there. I just finished praying. Take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the far east. Far east land of Ohio. You feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Our spent yesterdays and an uncertain tomorrow. How we live a meaningless today. This holy item filled with the prayers of people today protects us and supports us. Come, my brother, let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. Where you can find true where can where you can find true love and peace of mind within Mojo. Wild. Filled an aura of longevity from Ori the Cat. Not Zap. Receive a sacred lickaroo from Licky the Cat. Lick. Beam of light from Lasery the Cat. Pew. What about this? This is a tooth from a ferocious lion shark. Look at 
the size of this thing. Judging from the size, this maybe must have been a good 15 feet. Don't tell me you're the one who caught it. Nah, bros, you! Another me? So the other me who became a fisherman asked you to give this to me? What are you talking about? That's enough. There's only one me. How can there be another me out there? Sure. There was a point in my life when I thought about becoming a fisherman. That was a good ten years ago. But I couldn't do it. I gave up that path right then and there. I just gave up. I don't care what you say. This is the path I choose. And I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now, would you, if you would please put that thing away and leave me alone. Okay, I do have to do something real quick. Okay. So, I will have to do that dialogue again. is a different hat. Hello, Lena. Lena! Though, though this is where you were. How could you dust breathe us and go back on your own? Go back on my own? What are you talking about, Poshul? And who are you? Have we met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? Poshul? What are you saying, Lena? Hey, yeah, you. Don't be trying to pull any moves on Arlena, you jerk. Don't be silly. Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha. Kids. I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. You know... You look a lot like a boy who used to live next door to me. What was his name? Why Why do you want to know his name? It's me. That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened ten years ago. Soon after, his mother passed away too. That's why the house is empty. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well, but my mom says his name was... Sam. Like, how do you re how do you respond to that? Do you say that it's you? Because that doesn't sound like an insane person at all. Do you say that's nonsense and tell her that no, that didn't happen? She knows it happened. It did happen. These are both bad answers, but there's no good answer. Uh, I'm gonna go with that's nonsense. Why would I lie about something like that? Do you think I'm so cruel as to make something like that up? That boy. I guess I kind of liked him. The boy is still alive today. I wonder what would have become of us. We're best friends. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Sam's going to come back. Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on a lost loved one. You can find his grave up on Cape Hal. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there in a while. Still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up with you like that. Goodbye, stranger. So, we now know what happened ten years ago. Uh, I drowned and died. Mm, you know what I'm going to do? 
do first. I'm gonna save. I haven't done that yet. Data from another game title? What the hell? I don't think I have anything else. Whatever. Cape Hal. <clears throat> this is so pretty. This game's very pretty. Yeah, Paul, can you give me a minute? There's some writing on the tombstone. Rip, our beloved Sam, died age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. How wild to see your own grave? So you must be Sam, the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago. Who wants to know? The wrong voice that I was doing. Oh no, it's the right one. Oh, partially he's dead! Don't move. Sorry, Junior. We have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be a good boy and come with us. But Sakash, don't you think? Do you think this is truly true that this chap is the ghost? Seems like a perfectly perfect young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him. Salt and pepper. Hold your seahorses. Yeah, girl. Who the... That's such a far jump. <clears throat> Out of the way, Missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Shut your trap. You're the ones who better get out of the way. You have a problem? You have a shaken idea who you're messing with, dealing with, Missy? That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else this axe of mine will have to do the talking. For crying out loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm gonna kick your sorry arses so hard you'll kiss the moons! Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. first oh but I mm, I gave postal electro jolt sir his innately innate element color attribute is white right that does it quick attack him with the opposite element attribute color black how oh, unfortunately unfortunate. I do not seem to have any, sir. You nincompoop. You should always carry elements of every color. How about you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, Sakar, show us how it's done. Useless fools! Uh, real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. This is not looking good for our heroes, gotta say. Oh, 
I have his tablet. Bonk. Oh my god, Pepor, how do you dodge so much? Bop. All I have is fireball. Because this guy is yellow, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I killed him. Cool. Alright, salt. Uh, I'm gonna defend, because defending, like, all it does is refill your stamina. Like, that's, that's what it's mainly there for. Whew, good dodge, me. I'm such a sucker for just going for the big hit at the beginning, and it's the dumbest idea. But I do it every time, because I'm such a fool. Uh, let's go with Magma Bomb, that'll hit both of them. Oh god, Pepor's dead. Or soul. Alright, Karsh. Whap. Oh, I'm gonna defend a little bit. There we go. Back to full. Good damage. Dragon Rider. Pooh. That was a lot of damage. I might use that on girl. There's two reds on the field and I use a blue spell. Yeah, it was enough. Bop. Defend. Defend. Oh my god. Kid, stop missing. Okay, Karsh is weak. Bam! Big crit. Alright. We did it, folks. We won the game. Star? Yeah. I, I have no... Oh, but found a bone axe? Who can use that? Like, one character in the game can use an axe. Oh, wait, no. There's there's a couple. Okay. So, so gosh, I say we shake it on that here so we can live to fight another day. These are no ordinary brats we're dealing with. <laughs> Damn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm ready to take you on any time. Think I'll lose to scum like you? Ha! You alright, mate? Name's Sam, ain't it? Mm hmm. Oh, me? My name's. Kid. Imagine your name being Kid. <clears throat> Call me Kid. Nice to meet you. Just couldn't stand by and watch those bugs gang up on you like that. They just pissed the bloody hell out, out of me. I wish I could have beat him up some more. Why was that mob after you? What do you mean you never even met him before, eh? Ah, forget it. <clears throat> There's another thing I have to look at. At real quick. Okay, that's what I thought. How about you and me team up for a while? Carsfell ain't gonna just leave you alone, that's for sure. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on my own. <laughs> 
So how about it? So it's just fake that we meet up like this. Refuse. Don't think so. Hang on. Are you telling me you're going to refuse the company of a lonely, vulnerable, sweet little girl? Refuse. Ain't about that, kid. Ain't about that life. Sure there, mate? You might live to regret it, you know. No, thank you. No, kid. Stop it. Jeez. Well, have it your way, mate. Call me Burger King, because have it your way. be heading up north to a town called Termina. It'll be getting dark pretty soon. I suggest you go find a place to shack up for the night. Don't want you to become hecker and bait now. <laughs> well, see ya. Definitely will. It was terrible. They should be kind to animals. Hello, Lena. Rise and shine, everyone. A new day awaits. Glad I found you here, though. Damn right. Kind of feels odd calling you that. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe you had some kind of accident and hit your head. That's why your memory's all messed up. You're really someone else, but you think you're the Sam who died ten years ago. I want to help you. I just can't leave you alone like this. And you don't seem like such a bad person either. You plan to go to Termina, right? Then let me join you. I have some errands to run over there anyway. And to tell you the truth, it feels like I've always known you. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Well, that's that. Shall we get going? <clears throat> Lena, join the party. Confirm. Okay, let's head to Termina. Oh, shoot, shoot. Full speed ahead. Alright. Lena uses, like, like spoons and stuff as her weapons. Postal uses, like, uh, like, fist weapons. Status Lena. Sweet country gal. Oops. That wasn't what I wanted. Go before his face disappeared. 16, Arnie, 5'5, 93, ordinary build, right handed. Alright, and she's innate blue. So that's pretty good. Does she come with anything? No, but we're gonna give her. Oh, she's got a lot of slots. We're gonna give her photon ray plus one. I'm actually gonna remove all from him. Her. Sorry. And I'm gonna leave the town. And I'm going to save, because I think that is going to be it for tonight. There's a couple more things that I can do right now, um, but I want I want to wait and, um, and do them tomorrow when um, some friends are going to be in the chat. So I'm, I'm excited for that because it's, it's a little wacky. So let me save. Alright, and that'll be it for tonight. Um, this is this is fun. This game, like, I always forget how fun it is. It's it brings back brings back a lot of memories playing it. 
um, all good. The game drags a little bit sometimes, but for the most part, it's pretty nonstop, and I have a great time with it. Um, if you enjoyed this, please uh, give me a follow. I would appreciate it. Um, I stream pretty much every night. <clears throat> I've been a little inconsistent lately because I've been a little under the weather and moving my computer around and stuff, So, but I should be back on track now. Um, so I'll be back again tomorrow night playing more of this. Um, um, that's probably going to be the plan until the 8th when Monster Rancher comes out. And um, in which case I'll be kind of playing this and that intermittently because I love Monster Rancher. But like I said, um, if you had fun, please give me a follow. I appreciate it. Get notified when I stream and what I'm streaming. Uh, and so that'll be it for tonight. Uh, so until tomorrow, have a good one.